Uh, hello, folks. We're back for a little bit of uh, lacrosse blast. This is a game I'm finding the more I play, the more I really like it. Uh, today's game is a couple of last place teams. We're moving to uh, 2023 schedule. And Vancouver and Vegas were last in uh, the Western Division. And we're going to square them off in a game for today. And let's just jump right in. Try to explain the game as we go. Uh, we have our one, which means it is going to be an automatic momentum goal. Now, I think to start the game, an automatic momentum goal that usually goes to a team that scored last. And if nobody scored last, then you go to the trailing team and then the home team. So it looks like that is going to be a goal for uh, Vancouver to start the game. Uh, I will roll to see who scored the goal. Uh, number nine. I might just pick, guys, because this could take a little bit of time. So second highest is Kyle Killen. So Vancouver's going to get a goal from Killen to start it. And then we're going to move to number one and number 64. So 164 would be visitor stops breakaway. Home goalie must make a play save. So Aaron Bull must make a play save on one to two, and he does not. So we're going to have a goal, and it's going to be scored by uh, number 14, sorry, number five, choice player, uh, Jack Hanna. So Vegas is going to get a goal from Hanna. I think to speed the video up, I'm going to rotate him since he scored it. Uh, I think I'm just going to pick the guy at the most stars. And that way, uh, if I'm rolling for all these extra goals. It's gonna take a bit more time. Uh, next roll we have here, it's a two. So we're gonna go to, whenever you have a two, you're gonna to go to the visitor scoring chance. So one, two, you're gonna to go to the visitor scoring chance. Five, six, you can go to the home scoring chance. Three, you're gonna be looking at penalties. And a four on the die, you're gonna be looking for the qualities of the two players. So we're gonna to go to the visitor scoring chance, number 46 is any visitor with a power play star is going to get a goal. And we do, Zach Greer. So we're going to give Vegas the goal. Zach Greer is going to score. And right off the bat, it is Vegas. This is Vancouver. This is Vegas. Vegas takes a 2-1 lead. Um, and we will rotate um, Greer since he's the guy that... Uh, Use the card. I only have two cards here, uh, three here. And what you do is you get five stacks of three players each. I thought I counted off 15 cards. Maybe I only had 14. Okay, we'll throw Marshall King in the game here, and we will change the die. A 2-1 right off the bat. It's going to be a visitor scoring chance again, number 61. Any home player with a block is going to stop the visitor goal. And Vancouver does not have a guy with a defensive block. So that is going to be a goal for Vegas. We're going to give it to Rob Hellier. So Vegas, Hellier is going to put one in. That would be the third goal of the game for Vegas. And we will rotate him. Continue the, the my dog's acting up over there, smash against the glass. We're going to get a five, which is going to be a home scoring chance, number 43. Any home player with a triangle creates a goal. And we got lots of guys creating a triangle. Let's give it to this fellow here, Adam Charlambides. That's a bit of a mouthful. Charlambides puts it in for Vancouver. And his name takes up the whole thing. The <laughs> second one for Vancouver. And Vancouver gets back in the game 3-2 between the cellar dwellers. Four, it's going to be a quality check. So we're going to check player number five. And six, you get to pick anybody who wants. We're going to pick the guy. I always pick the guy with the most quality. So Phillips has got two and a star. Uh, Wagner's got two and a block. Well, maybe we'll go with Wagner. Um, so the quality we're looking for... Um, we're going to be checking um, by rolling uh, another die. 
So the quality we're looking for is, I got a bit of a brain cramp there. Uh, number four, looking for the hit quality. So if it is a forward and he has it, he scores a goal. If he doesn't, it's a turnover. So Wagner does not have the hit quality, so it's going to be a turnover. And for a defenseman, if he has it, he prevents a goal. If he doesn't have it, it's going to be turnover. So if we check for Barker, he does have the hit quality, so he prevents it. So both teams are not preventing the goal, and we got a change. Um, next line, my dog is... My dog is extremely jealous. Whenever I'm not paying attention to him and I do a video, he starts going bananas. He starts getting into trouble. He looks for that negative attention. <laughs> he's an Australian Shepherd. He's, he's a great dog, but he's turned into a pain in the butt when I do these. All right, so it's going to be a penalty check on player number four. Sorry, it's a, it's a five. It's not a penalty check. I lost my train of thought there with the dog. So it's going to be a home scoring chance, and we're going to be checking number 34. 34, home player in two is going to create a goal with a quality or a triangle. And Kyle Killen has it. So Vancouver will get a goal by Kyle Killen. He puts one in. That is Vancouver's uh, third goal, I believe. Yes, it is their third goal. We will rotate Killen. And this game turned into a good one. It's 3-3 early. Vegas and Vancouver. Uh, this is going to be a penalty check. Player number five, player number three. He's in 05. He's in 05. They're the same, so they will cancel each other out. So nobody will get a chance for that power play opportunity. We roll the dice. That is the end of the first quarter. The score right now, Vancouver 3, Vegas 3. In Vancouver, the Vancouver Warriors. Uh, we got a 5, which is going to be a home scoring chance. And we're looking at 52 player... A visitor player in three, so it's going to be Reinhold, stops the goal with a quality or a block. He doesn't have the block, so for a quality, we're going to need a one or a four to stop the goal. There's the roll. It is a four, so Reinhold will stop Vancouver from scoring. We will rotate Reinhold since we used his card, and we will continue. Here we go. It is a five. It's going to be... Uh, number 16 on a five, visitor goalie must make a shot save. So Landon Kells must make a shot save. They don't have momentum. So this is going to be an automatic goal. They roll a six. It's a goal for Vancouver. We're going to give it to Sean Evans. So Vancouver, Sean Evans will score the fourth goal of the game for Vancouver. They lead it four to three. We're just going to continue. It is a one. So it's an automatic goal. So one and a six, it's an automatic goal to the team with momentum. And since Vancouver just scored, they have momentum. So they're going to get a goal. We're going to give it to Riley Owen. So Riley, sorry, Riley Lowen is going to get the goal. That is the fifth goal of the game. And now we're going to check on the one visitor scoring chance, number 66. A choice visitor player is going to score a goal. So we're going to give it to... Jack Hanna, so Vegas will score. Jack Hanna is going to put it in. That is their fourth goal of the game. And we're going to rotate uh, probably Jack Hanna. So he's the guy we used. Rotate him. And now momentum is on Vegas' side since they have the last goal. And we are going to have another momentum goal. So it will be a goal to Vegas. We'll give that one to John Phillips. So Phillips is going to score. It's all tied up at 5-5. Now we're going to go to the visitor scoring chance, number 43. Any visitor player at the triangle will create a goal. Oh, nobody has a triangle. So they're not going to get that goal. So we're going to have to rotate. So tough break there. And we're not going to rotate anybody because we didn't use the card on the second part. Uh, number six, we got another automatic goal. Now, from the last segment, I think we got to give it to Vegas because they did score in the first part of the segment. I'll have to get some clarification on that. There was no goal in the second part, but they did score in the previous segment. So we will give it to Vegas. And again, it's going to be John Phillips with the goal. It's going to be a 6 5 for Vegas. And we're going to check 35. 
35 reads, home player in three, creates a goal with a quality roll or triangle. He does not have a quality roll. He's going to need a 1-2 for a goal. Jonathan Galliardi, and he does not get it. So they don't get it, and we will rotate him since we did a check on that player. That is the end of the second quarter. It is now 6-5 for Vegas here in Vancouver. So we're at halftime. Two bottom teams last year. And we're going to get an automatic scoring chance. It's going to go to Vegas since they scored in the last segment. And it's going to be John Phillips again with the big goal. That is their seventh goal. And we're going to 45 on the visitor scoring chance. Any visitor with a star triangle is going to score. And it is John Phillips who's going to pop in two. And they now lead it eight to five. And now we'll have to rotate John Phillips. Vegas starts to go on a bit of a run here in Vancouver. Uh, we got a five, so we're going to go to the home scoring chance, number 63. Home defense stops a breakaway chance. Visitor must make a play save. So visitor goalie Landon Kells has got to stop on one to three. It's a five. Vancouver puts one in. We're going to give it to Riley Owen. So Vancouver, Riley Lowen gets the goal. I wonder if he's related to the Baltimore Oriole pitcher, Adam Lowen. I think he was drafted in the top four in the MLB. He's from Vancouver. Um, could be a relation, kind of a, a different last name. Uh, we will rotate Riley Lowen. It is now eight to six. And we get a four. So we're going to start checking qualities on player four and player number two. And the quality that we are looking for is going to be a five. So we're looking for uh, smart. And Curse does not have it. So as a transition player, if he does not have the quality, if he has it, he creates it. If not, the other team will score. So that is going to be a score for Vancouver. We're going to give it to Kylie Killen again. Probably should be using the score finder, but this does make it quicker if we just pick it. That'd be the seventh goal. And then for Vancouver on their check, we're going to check Kylie Killen. And he does not have it. He's a forward. So if a forward does not have it, it is a turnover. So it's a turnover. We will have to rotate both these players. And right now, score this lacrosse game. It's 8-7 to seven for Vegas. Here we go. It's a two. So we're going to be checking a visitor scoring chance, number 52. Home player in two stops the goal with the block or a quality roll. Let's roll for that quality. It is a two. He does not have it. So um, it's going to be a goal for Vegas. Vegas is going to pump one in. We're going to give it to Jacob Roost for Vegas. That will be their ninth goal. Vegas now leads it nine to seven. We will. We actually checked 52 home player in two so this is the quality we checked so we have to rotate him you only rotate one player when you go to uh one two and five six you don't rotate two players so we've got another visitor scoring chance number 15 one five home goalie must make a play save otherwise it's a goal aaron bold needs a one two to make a stop he does big save there by bold five minutes to go in the third quarter we didn't use any players, so we just keep rolling. We got a five, so it's going to be a home scoring chance. Number 24, chance for Vancouver. Visitor goalie must make a spec save. Landon Kells, he's got a two for a spec save. It is a four. He does not make it. Vancouver is going to pop one to end the period. We're going to give it to Riley Lowen again. And that is going to be the eighth goal for Vancouver. So the score after three quarters of play is Vancouver. I think we'll rotate 24. Would we do visitor goalie spec save? So he scored. We'll rotate him. After three quarters, it is Vegas 9 and Vancouver Warriors 8. Uh, there's the logo for the Vancouver Warriors. I actually have it on here. Um all right, starting this final quarter. Let's see who's going to win this one. We have a penalty check. Two against five. We've got a one, and we have a 0 0.5. So it's going to be a power play opportunity for Las Vegas. 
Now you add up the die and that adds up to seven. So two to seven, you're gonna check for a play save. So Bold will have to make a play save. If it would have added up to eight or nine, it was a shot save. 10 to 11 is would have been a spectacular save. Uh, 12 would have been a power play goal automatic from what I understand. So um, Turner's going to get a chance. As I said, it's a seven, so it could be a play save. One to two, Bold stops Turner, and he does not. So Vegas is going to put it in. Eric Turner with the goal. And it is now 10 to 8, and we're going to rotate uh, 2 and 5. I believe there were the guys we used, as long as I didn't move those dice around. And Vegas starts to move their lead up. They lead it 10 to 8, and we're going to have an automatic goal. That is going to go to Vegas. Since they scored in the previous one, we're going to give it to Rob Hellier. So Hellier is going to pop in goal number 11 for Vegas. And we're going to go to 64 on the home scoring chance. Home defense stops it. Breakaway chance. Goalie must make a spec save. And 1-2, to two, Landon Kells makes the stop. It's a 4. He does not. Vancouver gets a goal. We're going to give it to Kyle Killen. So Vancouver Killen pops one. And it is now 11-9. to nine. Vancouver trying to come back in this game. Uh, rotate Killen since he scored the goal. We got a two. It's going to be a visitor scoring chance, number 26. Choice visitor player rolls for a goal using assist stars plus two. Got to use Hellier. He's a four. Plus the two is a six. That's going to be an automatic goal. And we'll give Hellier the goal. Vegas puts it in. Rob Hellier scores it. It is now... 12 to 9 will rotate him. Looks like it's not going to work out for Vancouver here. We'll have to see. It's a quality check. We're checking player number three, player number one. The quality we're looking for is number four, the hit quality. So John Wagner is a forward. If a forward has it, they score. If not, a turnover. He does not, so he turns it over. So nothing in that part of it. Vancouver, same thing, does not have it, so it's a turnover. So nobody's going to score. We do have to rotate the two players, Wagner and Scanlon. And we go on to the next roll. There's five minutes to go in the game. It's 12-9 Vegas. Number five, it's going to be a home scoring chance. Number 35, home player in three creates a goal, the quality or a triangle. He does not have the triangle. Going to have to roll a two or a five for Brandon Good Goodwin to score. And he's not going to score. He does not have the quality check. We'll rotate him and number, who was the other player? I guess we rotated five, two for Thor Reinhold. Um, did I do that correctly? Oh, no, we just rotate one guy. Yeah, because there's a home scoring chance. Sorry, getting a little uh, confused in my old age here. Uh, next one, number three. It's going to be a penalty check. One against two. Uh Jacob Roost is a 0 0.5. Sean Evans is a 5. So it's going to be a power play chance for Jacob Roost. And for the power play chance, again, you add up the die. So it's a 3. It's going to be a play save. So Aaron Bold, 1 to 3, trying to stop Jacob Roost. Or 1 to 2, he does not. It is going to be a Vegas power play goal by Jacob Roost. And that is going to end it, folks. The final score here from the Vancouver GM place it is Vegas 13 the Vancouver Warriors 9 this is lacrosse blast the more I play this game the more I really like this game very similar to hockey blast once you sort of get the nuances uh yeah it's it's super fun I I quite like it the more I play it the more I wake up the next day going man I gotta play a game of this lacrosse blast that was fun that was fun Anyway, 13 to 9 is the final. Vegas beats last place Vancouver. And that's all for today, folks.